Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will be creating an alert dialog box. There are different types of dialog box, for example, dialog box using checkbox or dialog box using radio buttons or maybe a simple dialog box with yes and no option. Got it? So for this video, we will be going for a simple alert dialog box with two options. So with that said, let's create the project. Choose empty views activity. Then click on next. Name it as alert dialog box. And click finish. So let me tell you what exactly we are creating. So first we will create a button. And when the user will click on that button, a dialog box will appear. Simple, right? Let's execute it. So there is no prerequisite for today. Let's directly proceed to activity main.xml. Here we will use relative layout instead of constraint layout. Then remove the text view. So first as I said I will create a button. Keep the width and height as wrap content. Give it an ID as show button. Then a text as show alert dialog. And lastly, center in parent as true. And that's it. So alert dialog box is not a widget. So there is nothing like alert dialog box in the XML file. But you can create a custom dialog box using other widgets. Okay. Now let's move on to main activity. To make the code easy to understand, I have divided it in three steps. So let me give you an overview that in the first step, we will declare and initialize the button which we just created. Then in the second step, we will create a method and then in the third step, we will call the method inside the onclick listener. That's it. So let's do it step by step. Now step number one that is declare and initialize the button. So let me quickly do that. And it's done. I have declared and initialized together. Okay. So we have named the variable as show button. Got it? Now step number two that is to create a method outside the on create. We will call this method as show alert dialog. So let me quickly write the code and then I'll explain you.
and it's done. Well builder basically creates an instance of alert dialog dot builder. So builder is used to configure the properties of the dialog box. Basically in simple language what is present inside the dialog box. Then we will pass the parameter as this which represents the current activity. Got it? Remember that alert dialog is different and builder is different but they do coordinate with each other. Then with the help of set title we have given a title as snapchat. Just the app name. Then you can write a message or any instruction using set message. Then we will have two options that is positive button and negative button. Positive button is usually at the right side and negative button is at the left side. So dot set positive button. Then I have wrote a text as yes. You can write whatever you want to. Then inside the lambda we have two parameters dialog and which. So dialog parameter triggers the click event especially to dismiss the dialog box means to make it disappear. Then which represents the identifier of the clicked button. In simple language at the back end it will know which button was clicked. So in this case it is the positive button right. But in this case it is the negative button correct. Now inside the positive button we are supposed to give some action to be performed. It could be anything like for example there is a dialog box that tells you to update the app. So the positive button says as update and inside that it will have a link to play store. So when the user will click on that update button then it will directly lead him to play store. Got it? Also the example which I just said is it implicit intent or explicit intent? Let me know in the comment section. If you are still not aware about then you can click on the i button to watch. But for now we have used a toast. So if the user will click on yes button then it will show a toast as the app is successfully uninstalled. Then we have dot set negative button that says as no and inside that we have used dialog dot dismiss which means the dialog will disappear. Once the builder is created it's time to associate it with alert dialog. So it creates an instance of alert dialog by calling the create method on the builder. Got it? Then alert dialog dot show will display the dialog on the screen. Now step number three that is to call the method inside the on click listener. So show button dot set on click listener and inside that I will call the show alert dialog method which we just created right and that's it. Also once the matter is created you can use it anywhere in the code. Okay. Now let's run the app. So I'll click on the button and a dialog box appears. Great. Now we have two options over here. So first let's say no. See the dialog box disappeared. Now again I'll click on it. This time I'll choose yes. And see there is a toast as you have successfully uninstalled the app. Perfect. So yeah that is it for the video. If you are new to this channel please consider subscribing to my channel and I will see you in the next video.